Hello and welcome guys, this is JNM with a new tutorial for beginners on using Playmaker for Unity, which is a kind of visual scripting asset. After you imported the asset to your project, you have this Playmaker menu in the toolbar. And when you open the welcome screen, you have the options to install Playmaker if you haven't already. You could also watch some getting started tutorials or install add-ons. But let's close this screen for now and create a very simple basic project setup in this new scene in Unity 5.6. Therefore I will add a 3D cube so that we have a simple game object to work with. But what is this Playmaker asset? Well basically it offers the possibility to add state machines to your game objects that you can use as a kind of visual scripting helper. But let me demonstrate this by an example and you will get the idea without more theoretical explanations. For this I added a sphere as well and now we can create some dynamic interactions. Open the Playmaker editor, which is the main window of Playmaker. And I will dock it here to the bottom. Okay, now it is suggested by Playmaker that you select a game object, right click and add a so-called FSM, which is a state machine. So let's do this for the cube. I selected the cube already and then I right click into this window and choose add FSM. Now here is the starting point of our state machine and the first state is called state1. Now you can see that a red gizmo appears for the object on the right side in the hierarchy and also a Playmaker FSM script is added that can be seen in the inspector. This red gizmo indicates that a state machine is added to the particular object. It is also visible here in the scene view. Okay, now let's select this state and rename it, for example to init, because it is the first and initial state of our state machine. What you can do now is to define events and transitions. Let me again explain this by an example. First I will define an event. An event is executed if something happens like a user interaction, for example clicking the mouse, or a collision of game objects. Here you can see a list of all the events that you can use here. In my example I will use the mouse up event, which is fired when the user releases the mouse button. Okay, the event is defined on mouse up. And what I want to do now is I want to create a transition to a new state that is executed when the mouse up event has happened. So first I define a new state. And in this state I want to execute an action. I want to destroy the sphere object that I added. So I will call this state destroy ball, for example. But you can call it whatever you like. Okay, now I see this little red icon. This means there is no transition defined and we have to define it. So just drag out the transition from the first state to the second one. Okay, and now I have to define the action in the state destroy ball. And I want to destroy the sphere. What you can also do is to define a description or a command so that you can see directly in the editor which action is executed. Now press the action browser and here you can see all the possible actions that you can choose from and basically these are visual representations of many things that you can do in Unity by using scripting. Okay, now let's destroy our sphere object. This is a game object. So I will open here this game object panel. Then I choose the method destroy object. I add the action to my state. And the last thing I have to do is to define the parameters for the action that I selected. For the destroy object, I have to define which object I actually want to destroy. 
and you can press this little icon here on the right and from your scene objects you can select the object to be destroyed and in my case this is the sphere. Okay, that's it. Now we can start the game and see if our state machine works. Here you can see in green the current state of our state machine. We are in the initial state and this state is waiting for the mouse up event. But when I click somewhere in the scene, the event isn't fired because it is defined for this particular object for the cube. Now let's press this, mouse up is fired the transition is executed then and the ball is deleted. Now I align my camera so that we can see the game objects a little bit better. And then I start the game. Now the initial state is displayed also in the game view. Then I click the cube and you can see the new state destroy ball. So very intuitive here I would say and with a few clicks and without writing one line of code you can create a dynamic interaction. Alright let's create something a little bit more complex. I delete this destroy ball here and what I want to do now is I want this ball to fall down to the floor and when it collides with the floor I want to destroy it. Okay, again I create a new state and in this state I will add a rigid body to add gravity to this sphere. I will give this state a name so that we know which kind of action is executed. And now I open the action editor, open game object and choose the method add component. Then I define that I want to specify a game object. I select my sphere and as the component type I will select a rigid body. Here in the Unity engine you have to scroll down to find the rigid body component and then add this as the parameter for the component. Then I draw in this transition as I did before for the destroy state and with that we already defined the first part of our logic and we can start the game and test this and as you can see the sphere is falling down to the ground. Great but now I want to destroy the sphere when it collides with the floor. To do this I select the sphere and add a state machine to it. Again I define an initial state and add an event that is executed when this sphere is colliding with another object and this event is called on collision enter. The sphere has a collider and so this on collision enter is executed. Now define a new state to destroy the object itself. I open the action browser, choose game object, but instead of using the destroy object as before I will use destroy self. Ok, let's start. The cube and the sphere are in initial state, then I click the cube, the sphere is falling down and as it collides with the floor it is destroyed. 
and while the program is executed you can follow this behavior in the state machines that are displayed in the Playmaker editor. Ok guys, this was your first visual scripting with Playmaker. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future tutorial. Perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon because this would really help to keep the quantity and quality of my tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.